Hello, Nash Central students. This is Ms. Jones, Media Coordinator. I've been hearing from a lot of you that you're having issues with your Chromebook being slow, glitchy. Um, you'll be signed into Google, then it will completely crash. Um, issues with just abruptly stopping, shutting down. So I'm going to show you a process that I would normally use when you're here at school, when I hear these issues. And it's called power washing your Chromebook. And what this process does is it puts it back to factory settings, like it's brand new, never been used before. Um, and this is probably necessary for some of your computers just because over the summer some changes have been made with the system and that could be causing the issues you're seeing. So I'm gonna take you through the steps, but first I wanna show you the three keys that you will use to reset your computer. The first one is the escape key, then your refresh key, and then the power key. So I'm gonna put this down and take you through the process so you can see it happen. Oops, excuse me. All right, so you're gonna hold down escape, refresh, and power. Your screen will go black. If this pops back up to the Chrome screen, then you may not have pushed those buttons in the right sequence. So again, escape, refresh, power, and it will take you to this screen with a yellow exclamation point. That's where you wanna be. When you get here, you want to press Control D. This screen says to turn OS verification off, press enter, you press enter. The next screen that comes up will ask you to press the space bar and then you will press enter again. And now it's going to reboot. Um, the next screen will be asking for your Wi-Fi information. So make sure you have your password handy to your home Wi-Fi or if you're using a MiFi box. Um, this is a system still booting up, so this is a good sign to see. And this does take about 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute. Okay. And since I am at school, I will be connecting to our school's Wi-Fi. Now, if you're at home, obviously you're connecting to your Wi-Fi. There is an extra step that you won't see here, but I will explain it to you. So just listen very carefully. It's not hard, but it is something that you won't see. Okay, so when you get to this screen, you connect to your home Wi-Fi. You click accept and continue. And now your Chromebook will check for updates, which is exactly what we need it to do because some updates have happened and that's probably why you are seeing some glitchiness or some slow moving um, internet access or connection. Okay, and you'll click done once it's connected to the internet. Okay, when you sign into your Chromebook, you will put in your email address and you'll see where it says at ncpschools.org. That's already there for you. So all you need to put in is the beginning part of your email, the part that comes before the at. So I'm gonna log myself in and I have to do this differently. So don't type in the same thing I am, leave yours as ncps.org. Then you'll add your email. I mean, password, this is your email password. Same password you use to log into your Chromebook as well. That password doesn't change unless you have someone change it for you. Okay, here's step two for you guys at home. So you see that I'm in. After you put in your email and your password, you will probably get a message about having to enroll. You'll see the word enrollment, and it will ask you if you would like to enroll manually. You want to choose to enroll manually. 
and this is just going to enroll you, enroll you into our server, the filter, um, so that everything is, is through Nash County Public Schools. So when you get to that enrollment screen, choose Enroll Manually, and then use your school email again and your password, and then you will be in your Chromebook ready to go. This should fix glitchiness. It should fix um, any issues that you're seeing as far as it running slowly or just shutting down on its own. If that doesn't fix it, you're always welcome to call the school, ask for me or Miss Outlaw, or email one of us. You know that we're always here to help you. I hope this helps some of you. We are still working out some of the kinks with Zoom, so hang in there. Um, we hope you're having a good first week, although I know it's been a little frustrating. Hang in there. We're all doing the best we can, and you know that we're all here for you. We want this to go as smoothly as possible and for you to have a, su a successful school year. So, again, if you need us, let us know. I hope this process helps some of you. Take care.